Oh, there you are, YouTube. Doo 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 doo. Subscribe if you're interested, but also no pressure. Hey, we're gonna do a random ranking today. We're gonna go to my movie collection behind me and pick out three movies at random and then rank them based on whatever criteria we come up with. I'll rank them here in the video, but if you'd like to rank them in the comments below, please feel free to do so. And then I'll hop into that comment section, which I'm finally catching up on. And then we'll talk about cinema. We'll talk about movies. We'll talk about actors. We'll talk about directors. We'll talk about all sorts of things. Um, who knows? What, I don't know. I don't know what's gonna come up. Maybe... Minimal information, maybe maybe lots of information. Who knows? Who knows what this discussions will bring? But let's get to picking those movies behind me and, and then ranking them. And I've been very good. I mean, I think I've only done like one random ranking since the organization of the reorganization of the shelf behind me, but I've been I did a good job of after I took the movies, I put them back where they go and I just need to make sure I continue to do that and not stack them over to the side of me because when I start doing that things turn into a big mess but yeah let's get back to the movies over here all right I'm thinking maybe something right here and then I don't know let's go up high right here and then a third film I don't know maybe something down here oh I feel a tab on it a tab means I have not seen it. It's basically like a little bit, little post-it, little skinny post-it that I put on a movies that I haven't seen or they so desperately need to rewatch because I haven't seen them in a long time. I haven't tabbed them all yet. I need to go through and do that again. So some of these that I just picked could be a similar case, but they're not. I've seen them all, so we are in good shape here. First we have, I believe you have, my stapler, uh, the uh, office space. I almost called it the office space. No, office space. This is a good one. I had a buddy in uh, junior high, high school. When did this come out? I think I was in junior high when it came out. Anybody got the year on this? I don't know. But um, he really loved it. And I think he showed it to me because I didn't see it on my own as far as I remember. I don't know if maybe if I did, it was like on a movie channel. But I'm pretty sure my friend showed it to me like at a sleepover. And uh, were we in junior high? Maybe we were, I don't know, it was either like sixth or seventh grade, somewhere around there. Uh, but really love this movie. It's incredibly funny. And I feel like maybe it had a little bit too much of an impact on me because like that, that moment of realization of like, what would you do <laughs> if you had a million dollars I'd, I'd do nothing. I'd do nothing. And now I don't think a million dollars is enough money to do nothing. You probably need, I don't know, two million dollars to do nothing. I don't know what interest rates are right now, but uh, I don't know. That's just like, ever since watching this, I, it was like a dream to become a millionaire, um, magically, <laughs> and then do nothing. <laughs> but of course, doing nothing is actually doing something. You're just doing your hobbies, the things you enjoy. So, um, you know, you wouldn't have like a job, right? Or I, I wouldn't, I don't think. Maybe I would, I don't know, probably not. I would just like consume, 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 consume. Just like in They Live, I would be buying movies, I'd be buying, um, uh, what else am I interested in? Action figures, toys, vintage stuff from my childhood, vintage? Whoa, that sounds a little too old. Retro stuff from my childhood. Um, things that I always wanted that I never had when I was a kid. Um, it would basically be me living in the 90s, um, for the rest of my life, the 80s and 90s, maybe some 2000s for the rest of my life is what I would do. Um, but yeah, this movie is very funny. <laughs> I just gotta, I, I, I'm always like, I need to start playing the lottery. I never do it but I need to start. I've played it actually, I don't know, maybe four or five times and I've always won, but I've always won like my money back or like five bucks or three bucks. Like I've never lost. I, I, I but I'm scared to play cause I have such a, a great winning streak that I'm actually scared to play cause I don't want to end that streak. I think it's really cool that I can say I've never lost the lottery and I'm, I'm including scratch offs, scratch offs and you know, like the one where you go to the gas station and you're like, give me a lotto, 
uh, what is that called? Like Powerball or whatever. I've always won those too. I've never lost, but I've never won the big prize or even the second big prize or the third big prize. It's always been your money back, <laughs> that sort of thing. Or with the scratch offs, it's your money back 10 bucks or uh, another ticket, you know, that sort of thing. Anyway, office space is great. Love it. Um, Beavis and Butthead. Uh, okay. Uh, critters. So I feel like everybody else likes critters more than me. Um, I don't know why. I think, I don't know, maybe some of it's a little camp, overly campy for me. And there's some, like, winking to the camera to, to like, E.T. and stuff like that. And I don't like that. Um, I don't know. I just don't think it gives me the tone and mood that I wish it had, but I just maybe need to get over that and give myself up to the tone it has and accept it for what it is. And then I could enjoy it. But the thing is, it's like I'm trying to write it in the way that I want to, but I don't think that's fair for a movie for when you go into it having expectations and baggage that you're bringing to it rather than just letting the movie happen and then you taking it in so I think it's more on me um, and then also Siskel and Ebert gave it two thumbs up so I think that's cool but I just need to give it a rewatch I need to watch their review of it I'm curious about it all right next we have forgetting Sarah Marshall and do you remember Get Him to the Greek, which was kind of like the, the weird sequel to this, where he had Jonah Hill in this, and you had him also in Get Him to the Greek, but he was playing two different people? Uh, that was always so strange. But I like this movie a lot. Very funny. Um, and this, if we didn't have this, we wouldn't have um, The Muppets. Is that what that's called? The Muppets? I think it's just called The Muppets, right? Yeah, because the other one's Muppets the Most Wanted. But anyway, the Jason Siegel Muppets movie that would not happen if it weren't for this so we have to all be incredibly grateful to this because that movie was fun the movie was great and it almost brought the muppets back it did for a moment i just wish it brought them back in a, in a way to where they had that longevity it's just so hard to keep those guys around i mean we've tried so hard disney's tried so hard they just don't know really what to do with it i think they, i don't know they need to create a variety show of some how some way or or just really focus on Muppet TikTok or something like that. I don't know. They need to do something um, and have multiple channels for each Muppet, you know, like a, a, a Fozzie channel and, you know, they communicate to one another on TikTok um, and, and what is it called? Like stitch together things from each other. So it's not like you have a Muppets channel. Maybe you can have that, but they all need their own channels and then they are TikToks and then they they communicate with each other on them. I think that maybe is what needs to happen. I don't know. Something needs to happen because I love the Muppets and we need it. But yeah, this is really funny. I like this movie. Um, and didn't Jason Siegel write it? I feel like he maybe wrote it. I don't know. Probably says here, but my eyes are not strong enough to see. Yeah, Jason Siegel wrote it. Um, Kristen Stewart's good in it. Uh, it's, I don't know. I like it. I like it. I used to watch it a lot, too. All right, so how are we going to rank them? Um, I think, I know, I think I'm going to rank them like, no, no, no. <clears throat> Sorry, everybody. I know everybody loves critters. It's like sacrilegious for me to put at the end here, but I'm going to do it. So for me, I'm going to go office space number one. Um, make sure you have that flare on your vest. And then Forgetting Sarah Marshall, number two. And then we go Critters, number three. So that's my ranking. But I'm also curious to know if you've seen these movies. And if so, what do you think of them? And if you've seen all three, how would you rank them? Would your ranking be the same as mine? Would it be different? Would it be the opposite of mine? I want to know. Let's discuss it in the comments below. And perhaps we'll see you tomorrow for more Pure Hangout.